I'm Brandon, and I'll be your guide as we look at setting up rooms and resources within the church community builder system. Have you ever had two groups show up at the same room at the same time, claiming that they each reserved it? The rooms and resources section is designed to let you know who is meeting where and avoid those types of conflicts. Let's take a look. To create or edit rooms and resources within the system, you will need to have full event admin privileges or be the master administrator. Click on the More link on the left and select Rooms and Resources to get started. The three tabs at the top give you access to Rooms, your Resources, and you can see Room Availability. The Room Availability tab is a great tool to see the availability of all rooms for an event you are planning. Make sure to take advantage of these features as the need arises. To add a room, click on the Room tab and select Add a New Room on the right. Enter the name of the room and then select a grouping. A grouping is a list set up by your church of how you would like to group similar rooms. Depending on your privileges, you can set up this list in customizable fields under the system settings. Click on the room groupings to edit the list. Some examples might be to group your rooms by floor in your church building, or even group them by your campus. Once your list is complete, click the I'm finished button. Back in our room setup, after you have selected the grouping, enter a description of the room. Enter items such as a layout of the room, or who may or may not be able to reserve that room. The checkbox to allow room layouts will give the person reserving the room a picture representation of different layouts so they can quickly communicate to the buildings and grounds people on how to set up the room. The allow conflicts checkbox will allow two people to request the same room at the same time. It will be up to the room approval system to determine who will get the room. If you leave this unchecked, then it works on a first come first serve basis and whoever requests the room for a date and time will lock in that room. The approval groups allows you to select one or more groups of people who can manage the use of a room. The list of groups is determined by you. Whenever you set up a group, click the Edit Group Settings button and open the Admin tab. There's a checkbox for approval groups. If you would like a group to be used for room or resources approval, check that box. Anyone who is a leader of that group can approve the room or resource. So for example, you can create a tech group that gives approval to the main sanctuary and also a children's ministry group that gives approval to all the children's classrooms. The choice is yours to allow one or more groups to approve a room. If you leave this option blank, there is no approval needed and whenever someone requests that room or resource, it will automatically be reserved. Finally, use the Notify Leaders checkbox to send an email to the group leaders anytime the room is requested. Click Save when you are done. Repeat this process for all the rooms in your church and then click the Resources tab. Click the Add a New Resource button to begin adding all the resources for your church. You can add chairs and even give the total number of chairs. You can add tables and DVD carts or whatever resources you want someone to request approval for. As with the rooms, you can have a grouping and an approval group for the resource. Make sure and use the Notify Leaders checkbox if you want those group leaders to get an email when their resource is requested. With the approval system in place, realize that you can have more than just physical resources in the system. You can add resources like childcare and have it email the childcare coordinator if someone needs childcare for an event. You can add beverage or food service if your church does that on a regular basis, or you can include resources like your church van or other vehicles. All of these items can then be requested for an event and approval given for each item. Now that the room or resource is created, when you open the room or resource, it will show you upcoming events for the one room. You can edit that room or even subscribe to that room's calendar, which is great if you have one or two rooms you want to keep an eye on when they're being used. Under the Questions tab, you can add questions that must be answered prior to requesting a room or resource. This is great if someone requests to use the sanctuary, and they have to answer whether or not they need audio or lighting help. If you have a beverage resource, how many people and what kind of beverage will be needed? You can get all the answers for an event before you even approve it. Finally, the kiosk view icon found on the room or resource page and by the groupings displays the list of upcoming events on a TV monitor in your church. You can copy and paste the URL as a bookmark to be used on your monitors around the church. As you can see, there are advantages in setting up the rooms and resources in your church. You can control who approves certain rooms or resources and even gather the information you need from the requester before approval. For more information on rooms and resources, see our other videos and help articles.